Vlogmas day nine, that is so crazy, it's going so quickly, it's so sad, but good morning. Yesterday was such a busy day that I've just been kind of picking up from that. I always wash my hair, I'm touching it a lot, but it's so soft and fluffy, it feels amazing. I used a different hair mask, like in the shower, I'll link it down below what I used, but it was so good. I thought we would unbox the packages that I've got to unbox this morning. My other docs turned up, I've got my Monica Vineda parcel, already got one of the things on but yeah I thought we would unbox those as you can see I've been filming this morning it went really really well I just had a lot to catch up on after yesterday it's always the way I leave the house for like a day and then it's like I have 50,000 things to do and I'm like whoa so made a little Monica Vinoda order something that I didn't buy that I'm now regretting was a uh, jewelry bag jewelry bag jewelry box like a travel jewelry box I don't own one and I love my jewelry but I just don't have the nice way to travel with it so yeah anyway first day I got this ring here which I thought was really sweet I'm really trying to like change my jewelry up a bit for the winter like I need to stop wearing this I need to find a ring to replace that one and then I actually have no rings on this hand I got this little skinny ring here which I thought was quite different because of the flat edge I thought that was so nice I need to figure out like what finger these are all going to go on and then this one here is so stunning I'm so sorry I'm doing this with no nail polish on I'm getting my nails done in like two days but yeah I never know which hand or like which finger they're going to go on but I love that I want to get that one on this finger but I need to like hair dry my knuckle first to get it on because it's all swollen because of the cold <laughs> but yeah, really sweet. And then I got some earrings too. They're huggies. I'm just obsessed with like little hooped huggies. But I thought these were particularly nice because they're just like the perfect size huggy. Look, and they're detailed. I thought they were quite festive without being too much. I wear like these, I don't know if you class these as huggy, huggies or hoops, maybe more hoops. But anything larger than what I've got on right now, I just don't think suits me. Wow, what is my hair doing? I don't think it suits me. So I'm still on the huggy hype. Maybe one day that will change, but I don't, I don't think it will. I don't see it changing. And then finally, I got this ring here, which again is just gorgeous. I'm trying just for like everyday things. Uh, I used to have like my everyday rings, but I've just kind of gone off them. Yeah, no, that's not going on there without hair drying it. But it's so funny, this knuckle's so swollen, but it would fit on this finger fine. So I know it will fit. Oh, I quite like the stacked vibe. Just a reference, because I know ring shopping can be quite difficult. I'm pretty sure I got all of these in a five, and this is a six. I'm between a five and a six on ring size. <gasps> Maybe we stack. Oh, I quite like that. So yeah, that is my little Monica Vineda haul. Got some lovely jewellery bits to wear around the Christmas season. You sh saw me, was it two days ago, three days ago, clearing out my accessories and all my jewellery, and that's kind of what inspired this. And yeah, here we are. Thank goodness for a uh, next day delivery. Gosh, you know when your hair's just so fluffy after washing it, I need to like stop touching it. It has turned out really nicely though. Okay, let me go and get the other bits. So I got one other pair of shoes before I show you the docks, and that is these. I got a pair of Timberlands to wear on site. Oh! This is not what I ordered. This is not- what? I didn't order black and I didn't order heeled. I'm so confused. What? Why would I have ordered heeled boots? What? They've given me the wrong shoes. I ordered the flat, like, original colour. I mean, these are cute, but they're not- I'm not gonna wear these on site. Oh. Okay, I guess I'll uh, send those back. <laughs> okay, these are my choices. The high one, and compared to the normal, this is what the difference is. The normal Jaden. This is another pair of normal Jadens, but it's a different size. But the, look how different the leathers are, yet they're exactly the same style. And then the Pisa ones that everyone was telling me to get because they are way softer leather. And apparently they're just easier to wear. And I actually quite like the grained leather look. I don't like the super shiny one. Like this is instantly a no. It looks like a clown shoe in my opinion. So yeah, I might try the Pisa ones on first because I'm quite impressed with those. I've just had the weirdest thing. I just went to make a coffee and came back and I got my cinnamon sugar donut candle burning and it just, I walked in and I was like, oh, it smells like Disneyland. It smells like churros. And I had a real moment. And I was just like, oh, my mum was like, are you okay? Is everything okay? Uh, but I've chosen my docs. I have gone for the Pisa leather, I think it's called, in a size six. The size five is my toes touch the end on my left foot. 
I, it's so annoying. I'm, I'm literally a half size. I'm a five and a half. And so I'm just going to get some insoles because I'd rather them be bigger than too small because, well, my toes touch the end. I can't wear that. So these are my dots of choice. They're the Jaden Pisa... Jaden style in the Pisa leather. So they're like, they're grained leather, they're softer, and I actually prefer them because my other docks are just the normal leather and I was like, do you know what, it'd be nice to have different. And apparently these are easier to wear in, so we love that. So this parcel just came through and I'm a bit confused because it says chocolate, but I haven't ordered any chocolate. Oh, I know what this is. It's not chocolate. But what I did get that is better than chocolate is my New Year's dress. I hope this fits how I want it to. I have spent weeks and weeks and weeks searching for the perfect New Year's dress. Not that I actually have plans yet, but I saw this dress and I didn't order it. And I kept thinking about it, and I didn't order it. I kept thinking about it, so I ordered it. What is my hair doing? I'm trying to put it up without dinking it. So if you've been watching my videos lately, main channel and vlog, you will have seen I have majorly, wow, <laughs> cleared out my closet and just my clothes in general. And I'm really making it a thing that I only buy things that I'm going to keep and wear forever. And something that I like to treat myself to each year is a nice New Year's dress. Now by nice, I don't mean expensive, like in previous years they've been like Zara and, and other stories, but by nice, I mean dresses that I love and I'll keep forever. Like I I still have all of my Zara New Year's dresses and all of my And Other Stories ones. So, oh. so this year I wanted to do a YouTube video where I'm still going to share the Zara Christmas dresses because I know you all love it. I wasn't going to. But this morning I had six messages asking if I'm doing that video and I was like, do you know what? I'm just going to do it. But I'm also doing another Christmas dress video showing dresses that are not necessarily like crazily expensive but they're slightly pricier i mean some of zara's are over 100 pounds some of them are like 79 and the ones i'm sharing aren't like thousand pound dresses but they're like a couple hundred and like some of them are like 140 so they're that step up but in reality they're dresses that I'll probably keep forever so yeah i'm doing that video which i'm really excited about and i want to put this in it so i'm not going to show you it now this is quite pricey it's the, i think the most expensive one in the video but oh, i love it i'm going to try it on but you have to wait for the video guess who just had the best workout session i feel amazing i'm really trying to get back into it i was like really good at regularly doing it three times a week and then like i said in the other vlog i just got busy and didn't and i'm literally like two days back in to like try and have some sort of schedule and I feel so good I'm like buzzing so yeah that was really good I've just like done some stretching I feel amazing today has absolutely flown I have ticked so much off my to-do list I'm not sure if you guys feel like this but this time of year it just seems to be that people suddenly realize that Christmas is around the corner and then they freak out and they're like can you do this can you do that I need this I need that and I'm like whoa but we make it happen, we do it, that's the main thing. My workout was really good, uh, yeah, it's all good, it's all happy. I did have some not that great news that I'm trying to ponder on how I can fix right now, but tomorrow's Bista, and I'm very excited, I've been talking to my friends about the plan for that, so I'm very excited, and then tomorrow in the evening I have quite a cool, it's not an event, but like a, a video thing, with someone that I'll share with you tomorrow that I'm really excited about. But yeah, what a day. I'm so happy I got my like doc situation sorted out because I was slowly falling out of love with my normal docs. And it was so frustrating because they're the comfiest thing in the world. But I just didn't vibe with like how they made me look anymore, which is really weird. I guess we all outgrow trends and fashion, don't we? And I'm sure they'll come back round, but I love the look of the Jaden ones. So yeah, I'm gonna go and grab a tea and get some bits done, and then I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Why is it, as soon as I book a hair appointment, my hair starts playing ball? I literally booked a hair appointment this morning, and then my hair, I like it, again. Why? Also, I'm thinking out loud, I've just kind of plucked my eyebrows a little bit, and I think I wanna change the shape of them, but it would mean I would need to look into getting the tails lasered off, because I have, like my eyebrows microbladed, but I think I want them straighter. So if anyone's ever had like the, just the tails, because I love the rest and I would get them microbladed again in a heartbeat, but I just want to change the shape. But if anyone has had their microblading removed, let me know what's it like. If I decide to do it, would you like me to film it? Like literally just this bit here, because I think I want them to be a bit straighter and like snatch my face a bit more. But 
they are quite rounded right now. I don't know, has anyone had that done? Is it painful? Is it easy to do? Like I don't even want, I want literally this much. I don't know, I feel like I'm thinking out loud, maybe I'll change my mind in the morning. But I am getting up bright and early to head to Bista Village with my friends, I'm so excited. Today's been a very full on day, I feel like you haven't seen very much of me. But yeah, I saw you last after I worked out, I then went for a little wander just to clear my head a little bit because it's been one of those days. But I'm gonna go and lay in bed now and practice some mindfulness and just relax before I go to sleep. So thank you so much for watching today's vlog, I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know, like I said, if any of you have ever had microblading removed. If so, did it hurt? Uh, but I might actually inquire about that tomorrow because I'm very interested. I also want to get the microblading touched up in my inner brows because it doesn't seem to stick on me for very long. Does anyone else find that? But it genuinely makes my life so easy. So, yeah, thank you. Oh, sorry, I'm literally going off on a tangent. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. And I will see you bright and early in the morning. Good night.